Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for the Las Vegas Police Protective Association. Today I'd like to talk to you about a couple of uh, cases uh, back east and things that we can learn from them. Uh, on this past Friday, uh, uh, Officer Van Dyke, uh, police officer with the uh, Chicago Police Department, was convicted of second degree murder. Uh, this case arose out of a shooting of a black male with a three inch blade knife running down the street. Uh, Officer Van Dyke uh, waived his Fifth Amendment rights, uh, gave statements uh, to FIT, uh, their FIT detectives, and he said that the uh, male was running down the street with a knife. Uh, the male lunged at him. Uh, the officer fired several shots at, at him. Uh, when, the per when the suspect was down on the ground, he attempted to get back up and he fired more rounds at him. That was his voluntary statement to fit. Uh, his partner gave a similar statement. The fit detectives uh, wrote in their reports that they perceived that uh, this was a, f a threat as well. The problem is that there was a dash cam uh, video uh, and amazingly uh, the fit detectives ha had viewed the VAT dash cam videos. And what the dash cam video showed uh, was the black male uh, running down the street with a knife in his hand. Uh, police officers uh, drove up. Uh, they are 12 to 15 feet away from the suspect as uh, he ran by them, bladed off from them, and Officer Van Dyke uh, fired 16 rounds at the suspect. At no time did the suspect lunge at him, and at no time did the suspect attempt to get up off of the ground. Uh, the jury uh, didn't have any problem convicting him of second degree murder and his partner and the fit detectives were indicted for obstructing an investigation. And so uh, that is one of the reasons why we advise against giving voluntary statements and waiving your Fifth Amendment rights and speaking with uh, investigators uh, before talking to an attorney. Uh, save it for your cert interview. Here's another case in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A police officer uh, shot an un unarmed suspect. Uh, the police officer told FIT investigators during his quote voluntary unquote interview uh, that uh, he saw the suspect point his arm at him and he perceived that the suspect had a gun. In a second statement to FIT, uh, the officer changed his story and said that he didn't see any gun and he wasn't even sure that the suspect pointed his arm at him. Uh, prosecutors charged the, the officer, citing the inconsistent statements. So these are just two examples of uh, the reason why we advise you not to waive your Fifth Amendment rights, not to give statements to criminal investigators, and to hold off until you're given your Gary protections in your CERT interview uh, before giving a statement. Uh, as always, uh, we will be there with you uh, at uh, every critical incident. Uh, you'll have an attorney out there with you. And, and of course, call me if you ever have any questions. David Roger, it's droger at lvppa.com. Thank you.